Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in front of me I have the Top Don Phoenix Elite. So in this video today, we're going to do a quick unboxing, and down below, I'll go ahead and include links with the full review, so check those out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Top Don Phoenix Elite. I'm going to show you guys what it comes with. We're going to go ahead and start it, activate it, and just do a quick little update. And then I'm going to play with it for a little while, and then I'll have a full review in the video link down below. So stay tuned for that. But let's check out what you're going to go ahead and get in the scan tool here. And again, this is not a cheap three or $400 unit. This unit is currently running upwards of $1,500. And so if I find any special links, I'll include those in the video link down below as well to save you guys some additional money. And let's jump into this box here because I'm so excited. But I wanted to share this with you guys and take you guys on this journey just like you guys were here. And if you have any questions that come up, please don't hesitate to ask those. So we got a nice box here. It looks like we may have a serial number here. So make sure you're getting a legit product here. And whenever you're buying a scan tool this expensive, guys, my number one tip is make sure you connect to Wi-Fi. Because a lot of these units, in case they're hot or they're stolen, they're going to go ahead and just turn into bricks as soon as you connect them to Wi-Fi yourself. So always test them out before you buy by connecting to the internet. So inside this box here, we have another box. Check that out, guys. How sexy is that? So there is the unit. It's nicely packaged up. Obviously, even the box is in great condition. Join the Auto Tech Elite, and we get some information here. We get their website, we get their North American number, and I'm actually in contact with Top Don quite a bit. I've talked to the reps, and they are very, very customer oriented, which is great. And it's great when the company has local US presence here. So now let's go ahead and open this up. So inside this box, we get another hard shell box. So this is getting exciting. And on the side of the box, we have this accessories box. So let's check out what's in the accessory box here. Connectors from OBD2 to looks like LAN and for the VCI to plug in. So we'll play around with this a little bit later. USB to uh, Ethernet cable. Power adapter with EU and US plugs. BMW and Mercedes connectors here. A lot of the older Mercedes and BMWs had the connector diagnostic ports and these would plug into there. And now let's check out what's actually in the box here. Ooh, check that out guys. Looks like we got the VCI here and this is a lot different from the Plus version as I own the Phoenix Plus as well. So this is exciting. Definitely want to get this connected to a vehicle. We have that same 10 inch display here. Built in kickstand in the back here. And let's go ahead and set this up now. And here we are at the login screen. So at the login screen, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and bypass like that. Obviously, I want to go ahead and register the unit. So I want to show you guys what's included first because I'm actually looking for the activation card with the serial number. And so we see this nice cabinet system up here. And this is, is the card that I'm looking for. And this will basically have my serial number and it will have my activation code right down here so this is exciting having opened this the very first time and everything is the way it's supposed to be i got a packaging list check out all the different accessories this comes with this is crazy We've got the extensions spare fuses everything that you need and nothing is overlooked and i have a user's manual right here i get some additional cabling here 
which we'll find out what that is for later on, as well as battery clips, cigarette lighter, and some other wires, including what looks like a ethernet cable. On the other side, we get some more adapters here, some old legacy adapters. And these cables and adapters are great because you know you can go and use this on a variety of different vehicles. Let's go ahead and hit update. And when we touch update, it'll ask us for our information. And let's go to new registration here. And over here, we're going to choose a username, password, confirm, email, captcha, and register. So I got everything typed in. And it's going to go ahead and send you a captcha code. And once you type in your email address and the captcha that they email you, and within one minute, you can go ahead and get to the screen here where you're going to go ahead and register the item now. And once you do that, you're going to go ahead and get to this screen here. And now you're going to go and type in the serial number and password that's on the password letter here. Now my unit has been registered and activated. I can go ahead and hit update. And check that out guys, we have 78 updates to go ahead and complete. And let's come back to these updates towards the end. So now we have service, we have the ADS. And remember on the ADS, you are gonna need to buy specialty tools for each make. So I'll include a link down to the top down website so you guys can learn a little bit more about that. On the battery tester here, it seems like we need to go ahead and grab one of these modules here to go and connect to the battery tester. We got the update, we got the support. So this is the, probably gonna be the team viewer. We got the library here. So in the library, we got a fault library here, vehicle coverage, learning information, and it's got Chrome. So you can use this for Mitchell on demand or if you're using any other service, we got a history, feedback, and we got the user section here. Could launch Chrome right there. That's easy. And then we got scan and auto scan right here. And under services, and under services before the update, it looks like we got 33 services available. So check this out, the four core, two gigahertz processor on this is just basically flying through everything and having the four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of memory on board really helps. And the display is very easy to read, it's over 10 inches. I think it's 10.1 inches to be exact. And as that's happening, to go ahead and connect your vehicle to the scan tool here, all you gotta do is grab the gray and black cable here. This will plug into the VCI. It threads in just like that. And the other end will just connect to your vehicle. And this is zooming through. So this is kind of exciting to try this. This has the new CAN FD protocol support. And I'm really excited about this. This has a lot of the same features as the Top Dawn Phoenix Plus, which allow you to go ahead and label reports as pre repair and post repair. So if you're running a shop, this is going to make your job a lot easier as you can actually prove why you did what you did and then show the results. So really cool scan tool here. Really excited about getting my hands on this. I do want to thank the vendor for sending me this and in my future video, I promise you guys I'm going to go ahead and keep my review real. And if you guys want to check out the Phoenix Plus video, I'll have that link to that in the video description down below as well. So besides having the CAN FD, which is, stands for Controller Area Network Flexible Data Rate, and in short, the CAN FD systems can go ahead and transmit up to five times the data rate, and the Elite here is able to go ahead and access these modules here, and basically does bit monitoring, does bit stuffing, it checks the frames, it acknowledges any errors, and it also has a redundancy check. So it's really nice to have all these features built into the Elite. And on the back here, we get the carbon fiber, 
we get a nice kickstand and this kickstand is a little bit narrower than the plus version and then we also get an 8 megapixel camera and the camera can be used to take pictures scan bins and so maybe you're working on a vehicle and you want to go and take a before and after repair picture you can do it using that camera so that's pretty cool and remember you get a 6000 milliamp battery on this and the battery life on this is really good I have been using it for a few days now and so far just like the plus it's able to go ahead and be used for two days continuously without any issues and as far as keeping it on standby you can go ahead and keep this on standby for a week and you may lose about 20 percent so great battery life on the unit here and remember you also get the new system topology visual view here and now you can go ahead and see which module is communicating which one has a problem or if your vehicle is not equipped you'll see it in gray I hope you guys enjoyed the video this is gonna get all set up and I'm gonna be playing around with this if you guys like this video consider giving the video a thumbs up if you guys are new to the channel why not hit the subscribe button right there and we'll see you guys on the next one make it a great day